Mo Farah is behind uh, the leading pack uh, because this lot have started at a very fast pace, perhaps too fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Mo's thinking, you know, WTF are these fellas doing? Because there's a chance that in this weather they'll slow down at the latter stages and then Mo will be all over this lot like a, like a cheap suit. And no one ever won the London Marathon in a cheap suit. Or, or any suit that really that the guidelines are very strict about that I always think that it's a nice touch that they have the London Marathon going through these rougher parts of London to show that there's no room for a judgmental attitude on a day like today mind you quite a lot of uh, East London is not horrible at all now um, there's some lovely art galleries and artisan bakeries plus it's really expensive to live there now so it's all moving in the right direction Tirunesh de Barba um, with the being photographed by men in sandals, living the dream. And uh, ooh, there's another chap up there with a the camera, getting a picture. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's a, just, that's a bit weird, really. Um, oh, and she stopped. She stopped. She stopped. Tiranesh de Baba has stopped running. Well, this is disappointing. She obviously decided enough's enough. I can't be bothered and uh, thrown in the towel very disappointing i mean there are you know there are men dressed as minions who will complete this race today tyrannish de barber isn't dressed as a minion and she's decided sod it i'm done for the day which is not the right attitude to take really that's not the spirit of the london marathon i mean there's also a woman running today for a digestive diseases research center who's dressed as a 10-foot polyp she's not going to give up is she so Think about that, Tyrannish de Barber.